Sema Adani William Samuel Ruto Okiona Okiosa Airport Raila Atapata AU Raila <laughs> 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 Ongoja kidogo ladies and gentlemen Welcome to my youtube channel My name is Jackson254 TV Karibuni Alright ladies and gentlemen Nisi kuchache zimeisha tangu Rigadhi gachagwa aweze Kukua impeached na ma MP wa Kenya pale parliament Unaona Sasa hivi Wale wale ba MP ambao wali vote against Gachagua ni wengi zaidi unaona kwa hivyo Gachagua ni kama hata cha tupwa nje na baada ya Gachagua kuweza kuvotiwa out sasa hivi tunangojia pia senator pia wafanye nini watoe maoni yao ndio pia vile vile tujue sasa ni nini kita happen baada ya Gachagua kufanya nini kuenda kuna tetesi zinasema ya kwamba president Ruto ameamua kuchagua eh, Nani ameamua kuchagua Anne Waiguru kama eh, vice president na pia vile vile ame, anaweza kuwa pia ameamua kuchagua nani Kindiki unaona kitu ambacho wakikuyu wamekataa wamesema hawataki kusikia kitu kama hicho kama sio gashagwa hawataki kusikia mtu yoyote yule kwa sababu my friend there is no way unaweza kampeinia mwanaume uka campaign uka campaign uka campaign my friend ukadhalilisha ule president ambao ni wao kiongozi wa wakikuyu ambao ni abaye alikuwa ni uhuru kenyata ukasababisha wakamdalilisha wakati uhuru kenyata alikuwa na kuja kuomba kura kwa wakikuyu na kikuyu alikuwa na anaautubia wakikuyu na kikuyu akiwaoni ya kwamba huyu mtu ni munyama muki mchagua my friend mutalia haia eh tuambie watu wetu ukweli na tusiwaogope ukiogopa wale ambao unaongoza wewe sio kiongozi kiongozi anasema ukweli anasema haki kulingana vile ilivyo na mimi nataka niwaambie kwa uhaki hata nikisema mimi nafanya kazi na, na ndugu yangu Raila Odinga mimi sifanyi kazi kwa sababu nataka yeye awe rais mimi nafanya kazi na yeye kwa sababu nataka pamoja tuunde amani ya taifa la Kenya Na mimi nataka tuungane na tutafute viongozi ambao wako na uwezo wa kufanya kazi pamoja. Sio kuchokoza wale wengine. Eh? Na ndiyo kwa nasema watu walikuwa mimi nyeji okete hakuruma. Mimi sina haja ya kutukana mtu. No, hiyo nimewachia. Wacha waendele. Wacha waendele. Wacha waendele. Si mumecheza na moto na mumeumia. 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 Munataka kurudi kwa moto ama munataka kuokoka? Munataka kuokoka? Njia ya kuokoka ni baba. Nawaambia. Njia ya kuokoka ni nini? Njia ya kuokoka ni nini? Afadhali mzee ambaye ni mtulivu ambaye hana haja ya kujaza mifuko yake ambaye atachunga masilahi ya watu yake badala ya mdomo tamtamu 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 lakini akiingia ni wale wa kufanya eh, moja yako nusu ya mwananchi mbili yako 
na tano yangu na mnawajua nyinyi mnawajua eh mnaweza taka kuumia venye mumeumia uhuru alikuwa anawaambia maneno ambayo wakikuyu walikuwa hawataki kusikia ilikuwa inaingilia huku inatokezea huku lakini wame, wakasema ya kwamba huyo mubaya ndio wanataka manake wakikumbuka wakati e, walitoka hege walikuwa pamoja na uhuru wakati walikuja Kenya wakati wa kampeni huyu mwanaume uhuru alimrusha inja akashikana na Raila so walimchukia sana wakasema ya kwamba kama sio yeye Ruto uhuru angekuwa president so walikuwa na, 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 na wakilipisha kisasi unaona walikuwa wanalipisha kisasi wasijue ya kwamba Uhuru na Ruto ni watu wawili tofauti, roho zao ni tofauti. Hawafikiri the same. So wakaamua kumchagua. Na baada ya kumchagua hata miaka mbili ndio hizi azijaisha, already ataki gashagwa. Kwa sababu ya nini? Ati gashagwa ni fala, gashagwa ajachanuka, uh, gashagwa akolo, yani ni mwanaume akai hata president. Unaona? Juu kiangalia hata sababu zenye zinafanya hata atolewe ni sababu ambazo ziliweza kureiziwa na government ya uhuru kenyata wakiwa na huyu president Ruto na wakasema ya kwamba hakuna kitu kama hiyo ilifanyika lakini tumeshaweza kushangaa kuona ya kwamba the same same allegation ambazo alikuwa mekelewangwa na uhuru kenyata na zikatolewa the same same allegation zimeweza kurudishwa wanasema ilikuwa ni ukweli tulikuwa na jaribu tu kumfunika ndio akue vice president lakini tumeona huyu jamaa ni mubaya sana mpaka tumeamua kurudisha zile makosa zenye alifanyanga kwa ile government ya iliyopita kitu ambacho kinafanya wakenya wanashangaa kwani hawa mapolitician wako na maovu inatoshana aje unaona kama walikuwa wamenyamazia hii maovu igashagwa alifanya na sasa hivi wameamua kuileta ni watu wangapi wenye wamenyamazia maovu yao inamaanisha ni watu wengi politics is a dirty game my friend i'm telling you politics is a dirty game your excellency president william ruto my friend and brother I want to take this opportunity to be the first one to congratulate you on being sworn in as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya congratulations my brother you fought a hard fight the obstacles that have been placed before you on your path to leadership were insurmountable but because there is a god in heaven today an ordinary child born by ordinary parents brought up in an ordinary village brought up in an ordinary way growing up in an ordinary manner because there is god in heaven he is the president of the republic of kenya and commander-in-chief forces I want to tell the people of Kenya, President William Ruto and all of us who have worked with him, take no credit for this victory. It was not possible for us to win this election. It was through the heart of God that today an ordinary child has been sworn in as president. I want to thank the people of Kenya for their lessons and for their determination, for rejecting to be intimidated, for rejecting to be coerced, and for saying that the will of the people is supreme in this republic. Your Excellency, President William Ruto, I must tell these people the truth. Despite the fact that you are a hard worker, you have passion to serve, you are zealous, you are a go-getter. The journey ahead of you is not rosy. And I want to ask the people of Kenya, the way you prayed for President William Ruto to be elected as president, please continue praying for him and his team to be able to start the economic transformation of this great republic. I want to tell the people of Kenya that finally you are free. Kenya is now a democratic country. You don't have to look back when you do something. 
all Kenyans are free to associate whoever they want. It became a crime in this country to be afraid of William Ruto. It is only that it was not put in the pen accord. From today, I want to tell the people of Kenya that you are finally free. I want to tell public servants, I want to tell all the people of Kenya, from now, you don't have to talk with each other through the WhatsApp for fear of being recorded and persecuted by state agencies. Your Excellency, our President. Your Excellency, our President. You have told us, and we believe you, that you shall never in your, pres in your presidency use the criminal justice system to manage politics. You have told us that you'll manage politics the conventional way through persuasion and reaching out. I want to give a word on behalf of our president that you are free to criticize his government without fear of reprisal from state agencies. Sasa hivi Gashagwa anaenda sasa kwa masoko akiongea na watu marigiti akijaribu kuwaongelesha yes ile lugha sahihi anaongea ndio ile lugha ambayo wa Kenya wanataka kusikia lakini sasa hawa wa Kenya hawawezi wakamsaidia kwa sababu ya nini hawana uwezo wa kumfanya arudi kwa madaraka unaona hawawezi kukubali kwa hivyo wanaongea tu ili kufanya nini kufanya Ruto asike vibaya lakini kiukweli ni kwamba wa Kenya sasa hivi hakuna kitu wanaweza kufanya kwa sababu ukiangalia wale watu labda watasupport Rigathi Gachagua ni wachache Rigathi Gachagua ni mubaya by profession alizaliwa kwa mubaya unaona wakati Uhuru Kenyatta alitoka kwa kiti Gachagua alikuwa nafaa kusimama na Uhuru Kenyatta Kenyatta tangu atoke kwa kiti inasemekana hata eh, retirement benefit zake hapati Unaona kulingana na katiba president akishatoka kwa kiti kuna zile pesa anakuwa allocated with na wafanyakazi anafaa kuwa allocated with pia mama wa taifa mama yake kuna zile pesa alikuwa anapata tangu bwana yake akufe kuna hizo pesa amekuwa akipata lakini ukiangalia hii serikali inasemekana zile pesa zote haikuwa impea hata retirement benefits pesa za retire kila kitu benefits zote zenye uhuru alikuwa anataka anafaa kupata hapati anatoa kwa mfuko sasa hivi ndio hili aweza hata kulipa wafanyakazi hata zile gari za anatumia ni mzee na kulingana na katiba zinafaa kubadilishwa baada ya sijui muda upi sasa hivi my friend zile gari bado ni mzee na wakiuliza wanaambiwa ni nini mlitaka Raila kuleni ujeuri wenu unaona sasa wana adapigwa vita unaona wananipisha kisasi ulidhani hatutaingia ulitutesa sana huyu gashako ndiye alikuwa mtu wa kwanza kupiga uhuru Kenyatta vita hakuwa ijua ya kwamba kuna siku itafika hata yeye pia atafanywa vile ambavyo Ruto alifanyiwa. Kwa sababu Ruto anasema aliumizwa sana. Lakini ukiangalia wakati wa Uhuru, Uhuru hakuwahi uh, tukana Ruto. Hakuwahi muongelesha vibaya. Ruto ndiye alikuwa anaenda kiongea mabaya kuhusu uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. Lakini Uhuru hakuwahi ongea vibaya kwa sababu alikuwa na respect kama naibu wake. Lakini sasa ukiangalia hii serikali yenye iko sasa hivi, vitu inafanya ni tofauti na vitu zenye Uhuru alifanya. Ulipochaguliwa wewe kama president na wakachagua naibu wako inamaanisha mpaka miaka tano ishe hata kama anafanya kazi vibaya uwezi ingilia kumbuka si wewe ulimchagua ni wananchi walimchagua unaona kwa hivyo yeye hakufaa kwenda kuanza kupigana vita na nani na rigadhi gashagwa kwa hivyo kumngatua kwa kiti inamaanisha kwamba mtu mwenye anayekwa pale ni mtu mbaya zaidi kitu ambacho sisi wa Kenya tuzi utatorokea wapi kwa sababu my friend rigadhi sahihi ameanza kufichua zile vitu zinaendelea Kenya Adani hapo timeenda. Raila Odinga sasa hivi my friend amesema ya kwamba ana support Adani kwenda. Juzi walisema ati hiyo kesi imepelekwa kotini na koti ikazuilia. Lakini Raila akiwa kwa serikali wacha ni kuambie. Raila ameamua sasa hivi ni twende nalo. Kama ni kuiba tuibe wote sasa. Kwa sababu Raila sasa hivi anatafuta kiti ya AU na hii kiti ya AU ni lazima kila kitu yenye Ruto anafanya lazima amsupport. Sasa hivi unasikia airport sasa hivi iko confirmed ya kwamba imeuziwa Adani wakiwa na Emirati family. Hii familia my friend muliona juzi ilikuwa kwa airport ikifanya eh, orientation, ilikuwa inafanyishwa orientation kuonyeshwa hiku ni hivi, wiki ni wapi ni nini. Washakuja paka na map wanataka hiyo airport ibomolewe itengeneze venye wanataka. Unaona? 
Sijui tutafanya namna gani ladies and gentlemen. Pesa zishagawa na ila pia ameshapewa watu wote kwa sababu Adani aliwaambia yeye ataki anataka pesa zake na faida. Na hao watu walikuwa chakula pesa. Sasa sijui tutaanzia wapi ladies and gentlemen. Tutaanzia wapi kama wa Kenya. Na huyu Adani si ati hapo peke yake amechukua. Adani amechukua mpaka amechukua mpaka electricity. Unasikia Kenya eh, Kenya Power ilishindwa kulane mambo ya electric Kenya. W wakakuja wakapatia Kenjen. Kenjen pia imekuwa ikirani. Kukakujanga pia na kampuni fulani hapo hivyo inekui nitua Ketriko Ketriko, I'm Kentriko Hii Kentriko ladies and gentlemen uh, Ndiyo ilikui na rane lakini kafika mahali ika felingi unona Sasa hadani amekuja haka nunua hiyo kampuni na hiyo ndo kampuni sasa itakui na rane Steamer Kenya You can imagine my friend Kenya wakati Inarane, bili ziko juu kila kitu, stima iko expensive, shida ni nini? Hizi pesa zinaendanga wapi? Mbona washindwe kurani, Kenya pao mpaka wa mugu patia watu wa inje? Sasa kama sasa hivi tunalipa stima expensive, wakati sisi ni Kenya wenyewe ndio ama ni Kenya ni natuongoza. Sembuse adani, adani kumbuka maifrene ni kitu menunua, anaeza amuata token ataweka marakumi ya ile venje tunalipanga, tutatorufanya nini? Tutafanya nini na uredi asha uziwa? Where will we go as a country? Za hii kila mtu analaumu Raila Odinga. Analaumu aje Raila Odinga, Raila mwenye ambaye aliwaambia, "Muusichague wa hizi. Watamaliza nchi ya Kenya, wako sikia. Wanamlaumu aje." Hakuna siku washaipatia Raila kiti, Raila kashindwa kuongoza. Ukiangalia wakati wa Kibaki Raila walikuwa wameshikana vizuri na Kibaki na nchi ilikuwa haikuwa na shida waliongoza uh, nchi ya Kenya na, na low budget unasikia trillion ilikuwa budget ilikuwa ya trillion ngapi trillion 2 sijui 3 saa hii unasikia ni at budget saa hii yenye iko Kenya saa hii ya trillion sijui 10 na, na vitu zenye wanafanya hatuoni tangu Ruto achukue kiti hakuna hata barabara ametengeneza hakuna kitu yote amefanya sisi kama wa Kenya tufanye namna gani what are we going to do as a country sisi kama Jackson? Mimi kama Jackson niko hapa leo tuongee na nyinyi tuelewane. Ya kwamba hawa watu wanatumaliza. Kwa sababu ukiangalia hapa kuna mchungaji fulani hapa hivi ladies and gentlemen alikuwa anaitwa Charles Kenywa. Charles Kenywa on Sunday aliweza kutembelewa na President Ruto. President Ruto alimtembelea na baada ya kumtembelea wakakuwa na na service na huyu pasta kwanza usisahau ni ni wa catholic unaona huyu ni pasta wa catholic aliweza kuongea maneno ambayo yali aliogopesha sana alisema waizi waizi ali, aliongelesha waizi akawaambia nyinyi waizi wenye mko hapa na sasa hiyo president Ruto anamwangalia mpaka anaangalia chini anaongea na akiwa serious mpaka na quote biblia nyinyi waizi wenye mnaibia wa Kenya na akasema wako hapa mko hapa na mnanisikiliza Hiyo ni kitu ambayo imefanya paka huyu pastor amekuwa samo na DCI aende aeleze ni kwa nini aliita president mwizi. Yeye anasema yeye alikuwa na quote bible, juu alikuwa pia anataka kusaidia na unajua ni revelation alikuwa amepewa na Mungu. Ni kitu imeleta shida ladies and gentlemen. Huyu pastor my friend sasa hivi watu wanasema amefanya vizuri sana, ameongea maneno ambayo wa Kenya wamekuwa wakitamani kuongea hiyo muda yote, lakini hawajaipata chance ya kuongea. Kwa hivyo my friend sisi tunaambia wa kikuyu my friend, muache kulaumu Raila. Uhuru aliwapatia Raila Odinga akawaambia na wapatia huyu arani inchi lakini nyinyi mkamkata kesi ya Uhuru na Ruto na Raila Odinga naifananisha na ile kesi ya Biblia wakati Yesu alikuwa nasulubishwa Yesu wakati alikuwa nasulubishwa kulikuwa na mwizi ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Barnabas Barnabas Alikuwa muwaji, alikuwa na chinja watu, alikuwa na baka wa mama, alikuwa na fanya kitu yote, alikuwa na hakuna makosa kwa nafanya. Na wakati alishikwa, yeye alifungiwa bila trial. So wakati Yesu alifungu, alishikwa ikasemekana ni mkubwa wa mayahudi. Walisema kwa mba huya sulubishwe, baranaba awachiliwe. My friend wacha ni kuambie. Ilikuwa ni noma. Ilikuwa ni noma my ladies and gentlemen. Pilato aliwaambia mimi huyu mtu si muoni makosa yake. Akanawa maji na akanawa na akasema ya kwamba mimi huyu mtu sijaona makosa yake. Lakini juu nyinyi mmesema ni muachilie na nyinyi ndio mlinichagua. Nimemwachilia na huyu mwenye amesema ni msulubishe. Nimemsulubisha na akanawa mikono na akamwambia Mungu Mungu it's not my fault. Ni fault ya wa, wananchi. Na wananchi wa Kenya walitaka 
Ruto na akawapea Mungu akawapea alipowapatia tena sahihi wanalaumu nani na ni wao walimchagua walisema huyo mwizi ndio wanataka despite yeye kulikuwa na kesi mingi walisema huyo mwizi ndio wanataka sasa niwauliza wa Kenya wenye mnanisikiliza ni wakati sasa hivi wakikuju ni wa style up hiyo kabila yenye ambayo imekuwa ikiendelea Kenya itabidi waimalize na wasipoimaliza my friend wacha nikwambie tunaelekea mahali pabaya sana Ruto sasa hivi ameamua kurani inchi for more than 30 years Ukiona Raila ameamua kujoin na watu wanajua vizuri asipo wa join my friend for 30 years my friend atalala nja atalala nja ladies and gentlemen Majenzi wote wamenunuliwa wameambiwa my friend kujeni kwa the winning team mutoke huko mahali ambapo ni kwa losing sasa hii marara sasa hii yeye ataendelea na tujui hata maisha yake itakuwa namna gani maisha yake iko hatarini kabisa kabisa sasa hivi ameamua kuendea zile project ambazo ziliweza kuzinduliwa pesa zikakulwa zikakuwa embezzled pesa zikakuwa embezzled ndizo ameamua kugo after na tunafuata muombe sisi kama wa Kenya kwa sababu yeye ndio mtu wa kipekee saa hii ambaye ni opposition leader the only reason yenye Raila anafanya ashikane na huyu Ruto ni kwa sababu eh, kuna kiti ya AU hii kiti ya AU ladies and gentlemen ni kiti na ambayo Raila lazima ashinde. Na kama Raila ataanguka ladies and gentlemen. Ongojea. Kenya mali inaelekea. Raila hawezi kukubali kukaa kwa hiyo serikali sana. Yeye yeah, kwa hiyo serikali kwa sababu anataka hiyo kiti. Lakini akikosa hiyo kiti ladies and gentlemen, I believe you me. Raila anarudi kwa street. Wata expose zile vitu zote zimefanyika Kenya. Ongoja mtaona. Ni uchungu sana ladies and gentlemen ni uchungu sana eh, mimi kama Jackson nimeweza kukuja hapa siku ya leo kuweza kuambia ya kwamba uh, yale maneno yanaendelea Kenya ni maneno magumu sana ni maneno magumu na haya maneno my friend sisi kama sisi hatuwezi tukakubali we have to stand up lazima tu demonstrate kwa mitandao lazima tuongee hata sijui kama tutasikizwa lakini tuongee tu kwa sababu hatujui mipango ya Mungu ni gani Atuwezi tukakubali hapa kuona vitu zinapanda usiku na mchana school fees ziko juu na watu tulikuwa na watoto vyakula zilipanda na tulikuwa na watoto na tunyamaze ni uchungu sana ladies and gentlemen mimi kama Jackson siwezi kubali na nyinyi pia wenye mnanitazama pia najua hamwezi mkakubali kwa hivyo tujaribu juu chini tuweze ku reject hii serikali kwa sababu hii serikali my friend haina uzuri na sisi haina uzuri na sisi we have to think about our kids we have to think about our families Tusipofanya namna hiyo ladies and gentlemen tutaumia. Tutaumia na hakuna kitu tutafanya. So guys thank you so much kwa hayo machache najua mmeweza kunisikia vizuri. Uh, until next time God bless you guys. How vipi guys? Wacha tukutane on the next video and may God bless you guys. Bye bye. Jackson hapa.